welcome to episode 8 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Wrexham. I've been busy for the last couple of days, so there was no poll for episode 7's player of the episode, but it was so very clear that it was Danny Benz, so I've given him plus one potential. And Tana, even though he's under, like, serious pressure, did make five saves against Colchester, so he got a whole range of upgrades to his goalkeeping ability. The scouting reports available from Bangladesh, Iceland, and Andorra. These two scouts were changed in between episodes because we'd already found players from Madagascar and Dominican Republic, so might as well get them changed. Yes, Tony Pritchard is looking for a goalkeeper. Jumping into this, it's uh, Bangladesh first. We have Narul Rahman, who's six foot seven, but I'm seeing Bitplu Hossein, who's got a stupidly good overall. Thank you very much. We'll sign him up, no problem. Sure enough, Bitplu on the back of his shirt. Has to happen. Into Iceland now. We don't see any ridiculous overalls, but you would imagine that this guy is 60 plus, maybe? 94 max potential. This is a good scout report so far. £775,000 is his valuation. At least his surname is easy. Oh boy, TT is now got a challenger maximum 68 on the first guy 64 72 down at the bottom look at the state of this i've accidentally pressed a button antonio rocker at six foot three at two million pounds of valuation oh we'll drop everybody else i would have loved to have signed a couple there from andorra but we are going country hopping let's have a look at the state of these mate hussein's potential is 80 to 94 guaranteed to be quality this kid He's tiki taka play style. Love it. Rocker's got nothing. 64 overall, though. Get his shooting up, and he's going to be an absolute weapon. Renarsson's got incisive pass for a goalkeeper. Is that genuinely the best scout report that we've ever had? That's got to be up there, hasn't it? Really, really highly rated players. This is silly. Get them all into the senior team from very interesting countries that we haven't really had quality players from in the past. That was absolutely exceptional. We're going to do a quick take and clear training drill. Adding Miller the anticipate play style. Should be no problems. Unless I just slide straight past the guy with the ball. Get up. Get up. Oh, mate, I should have had some points for that. I just don't want to talk about it. I really don't. Okay, Miller did not get the anticipate play style because he decided to fall over instead of clear the ball. Here's Newport County. They're playing in a narrow diamond. They haven't got Abbas Acosti in the team just yet. They're still sorting out contracts. Ben Smacker off on international duty. We got Rocker in his position. Nice swap there. In terms of a front three, it's incredible, isn't it? 64, 63, 64. We'll get Hussein in the middle of the park. Needs to be trained on the defensive part of the game. He's only got 33 defending. Even though we've got ourselves a 60 overall keeper, we're keeping the faith, Tobias. Come on, TT. One more mistake, though, and the door gets swung open for Renarsson. The evolution opportunity in this match is plus one skill moves to a midfielder if they successfully take on four players. Now, this is very similar to an opportunity opportunity that we had last episode O'Brien's only got two star skill moves so it will be applied to him it's Newport against Wrexham Rocker is a big big lad isn't he Cesarini can go back to him he's got a bit of speed as well Bogle's trying a long range shot but there's Tanner we expect the goalkeepers to be pulling off saves like that way we'll dig Fires wide. Cesarini. Oh, he's well-timed. Bitplu on the move. Rocker has got so much green space ahead of him. It's Dory. Surely Richards. It's a wonderful save by Maxted at close range. But we move that frantically from midfield to attack. Ioka's put the ball in. Yes, Rocker. Oh my goodness, it's another fantastic save by Mike Stead. Could have had a debut goal as that ball was swung in right onto his head. Are we going to get punished for that? Surely he's offside. Tanner is out of his net. And Danny Bins doesn't stick out a leg. Bennett's trying to fizz it in. Yeah, Danny Bins getting caught out. That's uh, 
front post. Tobias, do you really want to get substituted? The door's creaking open, guys. No, keeper. Oh, my. Yeah, just get him off. Get him off. He doesn't have a clue how to defend his front post. Richards, it's on time, I think. The flag is not going up. Dory took forever to control that ball. Ioka with a lovely cross, though. Big blue! Oh! <laughs> what a goal on your debut! I had to improvise. I was not expecting the chance to go to Big Blue. Oh, he's took it well, though. Get back in the game, lads. Oh, he makes a fantastic sliding challenge. Miller down the line. Ioka trying to drive inside. It's fantastic. It's Bitplu moving it on to Rocker. Oh, the speed. Come on. Come on. 3-2. I can't remember anything like it. Bitplu and Rocker, they are rocking my socks off. Are we going to see the goalkeeper get tested for the first time? Somehow, the defence is playing a lot better. Renarsson's finally made a save. Bitplu has to slide in. Chances, though. Miller should be out wide for us. This is Dari. Stay on side. Rocka! 3-3! Three, three. Oh, and we have deserved every single second of this. We're going on to win it. The Welsh Derby in League Two is going to end up with the red side smiling. This is Danny Bins. Gets the tackle in. Still with Newport. Save. No, Renarsson has let that one go. Newport back in front. Little ping by Ioka. Off goes Richards. Does he have the energy? He definitely has the physicality. He plays it inside. Rocker's onside for the hat trick. It's hit the post. Go on, Rocker. Oh, penalty. Penalty! Who's good at penalties then? Danny Bins. Right hand side. He sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. It's 4-4. Captain Danny Bins. Lewis is going backwards. Morris to Wildig. Keeping the ball here. It's not good for Wrexham. Just can't put a tackle in. This probably ends up in the back of the net. Man, we are throwing everything at this game and just not getting the rewards for it. Yoka's going back to Dari. That's Richards. Could turn. Could set up. Rocker! 5-5! Five, five. And a hat trick for the new lad. At least it's not a loss against the rivals. Welcome onto the scene, Antonio Rocker. I would say, though, we were mightily unlucky not to win that. Let's have a look at the standings before we take on Sutton United. We are not nine points from safety but surely the goals the victories are coming now Sutton have got themselves a 4-4-2 formation big shout out to my mate DK who's doing this kind of series with Sutton United we'll put his channel down in the description box and if you're enjoying his stuff tell him that Cutsy sent you there there's a lot of unhappy faces now in the camp the good times are coming eventually opportunity in this match is for a defender to improve his weak foot if he can clear the ball twice on his weaker foot let's have a look what we've got here Neil's got five star weak foot Danny Bins has got three. Owen has got three. Collier's got three. I'm going to put in Triore and we're going to apply it to him. It's Wrexham against Sutton. Rocker and Bitplu, I'm sure, will be back for the next game. But I hadn't sorted out the fitness plans. And this midweek match has come at a very, very poor time. So they'll be taking a break. Triore is left footed, by the way. So we need to clear it on his right foot. O'Brien certainly didn't complete the objectives from the last match. Hopefully this one's easy enough to follow. He's got significant pressure on there. Turn and clear. There's one. Can turn back on ourselves. Yeah, there's two. Okay, we got that completed. Terrible clearances, but we haven't conceded from them, so it's all good. Uh, oh, Dory might get there, actually. Go on, then, Marino. All you need to do is flick it into Ioka, mate. Come on. That's a great slide challenge by Williams. Even though we're not at full strength, I think it's another game that we can win. Williams feeding it into Marino. That's a nice turn. Spencer Neal. Look at the space here. Ioka just needs to set up Alan Richards. Ioka's having a good game. Moves it on to Colley. Crossing. Alan Richards was the target corner kick. Wrexham in swinger from Ioka. Dory couldn't win it. Oh, there you go. Dory will win that one. It's 1-0 one Wrexham. Who put the header back in? This is definitely a case of the assist being more important than the goal scorer. It was Butler. Well done, mate. Soaring Dari's seventh goal in 19 games. And with the way that we defended this, it could be the only goal of the game. We might have a clean sheet in store. 
Patrick, that's wide. Just stroking this ball around. Richards! Oh, it's beautiful! We have played these guys off the park. 2 0 Wrexham. We're on our way to collecting four points out of a possible six. Patrick trying to wriggle around. Owen has made himself big all game. Tanner's only been called into proper service once. Patrick has clearly been the uh, best player on the field for Sutton, but we've dealt with him well, and we are going to win with a clean sheet! Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles, with your host, Yuko Ike! The day that Tanner manages to make a save is when Earth explodes. We are six points away from safety. Here's Gillingham's lineup, they're going for a 4-1-3-2. We'll try and do hold the line as the training drill. Can we even get this one done? Not looking likely. We are getting burned. So badly burned. Nah, man, this is just embarrassing. Tobias Tanner keeps his place. Improvement opportunity this time is for a forward. And it's to improve his finishing by one. If he scores, it's simple as that. So what we've got in terms of finishing is Dory on 70. Richards only has 55. Rocker down there at 47. We're applying it to Rocker. Gillingham against Wrexham. After scoring a hat-trick in his first match, Surely, just scoring one here, it's not going to be much of a task. Yoka switches the play. Bent smack. Oh, looks like a foul. Will be uh, playing on, and it might do as good because Bent Smacker is on the move. Get away from him, Bent Smacker, all the way. One nil, Rexham. That's right. It's Bent Smacker. Phenomenal additions to the team over the course of the last three episodes. This is now a winning team right here. It's a great cross by Milladori. He should have made it two. Rocker could turn. He's got Richards there. It'll be a foul, surely. Go quickly off the free kick. Now we can set up Richards. Is he going to finish? Yes, on his left foot. This front three purring away. We are flying right now. Cesarini. Great play. Rocker's ran into trouble there. A Gillingham going to get back into it. Tanner's coming out of his net. I think he's got a touch that actually made it more difficult to clear off the line. Mahoney's got around Cesarini. Here comes Danny Bins. That shouldn't have ended up in the back of the net. I think next goal will be the most important. Well done, Tobias Tanner. Not going to lie, I think we should be looking towards the subs bench. Come on, Tanner. Lovely save. Oh, can't stop the follow-up. And we've left it a bit too late for substitutions. Goalkeeper really needed some help from his defenders there. Nobody reacted in time. It's dropped lovely. No real surprise. Legendary are just trying everything to win. Rocker's got a long way to go, so he'll use Dari. That's a pretty poor pass. Alan Richards not going to win that. Dibble is well out of position. Please get back. No, we're being cut apart. Oh, and Tanner doesn't save that. Well, it's not a problem now to swap goalkeepers. Runnison gets a run out for five or six minutes. Dibble is just far, far worse than the other left backs that we've got. Oh, and it seems like legendary have just gone, yeah, we're winning this game. Thank you very much. These are some crazy bounces and deflections that we're seeing. Let's just clear this and call full time. When the AI act like that and the looks against you, you just become a passenger in all of it. It's 5-2 to Gillingham at the end. Now it seems like Rob and Ryan are getting a little bit displeased. That will be dealt with in a board objective next episode. But for now, this has been Courtesy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, please give the video a like. If you've not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and hit the bell icon for mobile notifications. Big thanks to everybody on the right-hand side supporting me financially on Patreon. You guys are legends. Link to the Patreon down below. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.